All right, well, this kind of sucks, but uh, those of you that are keeping up with everything have probably already seen, and I felt like I needed to make a video to explain to the YouTube community what was going on, especially those of you that support uh, on the vlog here. But um, it was announced today that I will not be returning to the 22 car at Nelson Motorsports for the Cars Tour in 2024. Uh, Connor Hall is going to drive the car. He's got a lot of funding and uh, the team needed to make a business decision. So Connor will be driving that car moving forward um, for 2024 and I will not be. With that being said, I still have three races left um, in the Nelson Motorsports car this year. Uh, that being this Saturday, tomorrow and Saturday, Friday, Saturday at uh, South Boston Speedway in the Cars Tour, um, Tri-County Motor Speedway, or Tri-County Speedway, the Cars Tour in a couple of weeks, and then the Cars Tour finale at Caraway. So still a few opportunities for me in the 22, and um, it's unfortunate. You know, I, I feel like with the success we've had, that that was something we could continue to build on and, and hopefully turn that into a championship chase in the Cars Tour moving forward in 2024, but it just wasn't meant to be. You know, the business side of the sport is unfortunate. It sucks, but it is there, and I know that uh, more than anybody. You know, I've lived it for a long time. I know that money is very, uh, very important factor, and that's just not something that I could bring to the table like Connor could. So, um, you know, good luck to those guys moving forward. I've, I've developed really good relationships at Nelson Motorsports. Uh, very thankful for the opportunity, of course. Thank, thankful for all the partners they have there on the 22 car. And I've met a lot of great people through it. I've, I've developed good friendships, uh, Crew Chief Matthew and, and everybody that has uh, worked on the 22 race car all year. Uh, just thankful for the opportunity, uh, blessed to show what I can do behind the wheel. And, you know, hopefully moving forward, this leads to um, bigger and better opportunities for me. Um, as far as 2024 goes, where I'm at now with my program, I would like to hopefully maybe attempt to run the cars tour here out of huff and racing shop that is if we can put the funding and the sponsorship together to do so i've got some returning partners obviously uh you know we've had help with from high rock vodka this year and i'm working on hopefully landing that again for 2024 and uh, we've got some more returning partners here that have helped us for a while that potentially could sign on uh, but we're definitely looking for new new funding and, and new help to take that next step and potentially build a new race car, get us another motor and possibly have a shot at running for the tour right here out of Huffman Racing. Um, I'm also open to other opportunities. If anyone's out there uh, and you're looking for a driver, uh, bang my line because I am available. But I just wanted to make a quick video, give you guys an update on what's going on. Remember, I will be in action this Saturday night at South Boston Speedway. I will be uh, in the 22 car again, it'll be live on Flow Racing. If you're there, make sure you come out to the racetrack, support the, the Speedway, support the series, and then uh, I'll be at Tri-County in a couple weeks as well. But for the remainder of this video, I'm going to show you guys a quick update on Fido and uh, obviously we won Induce, which this camera is setting on right now. But a quick update on Fido, something positive to finish this video, give you guys an update on where we're at. Remember, last time we talked, Fido got a brand new front and rear clip from CCI Machine and Fab. So I'm gonna take you guys over here and show you, I just went and got a greenhouse for it today, so it's almost time to hang a body. So let's check that out. So here's Fido on the ground. Got her ready to uh, hang this body. Like I said, I just went and got a, a new greenhouse today. $1,500 for a greenhouse, by the way. That is the, about the only part that's really difficult for me to uh, try to find used. I end up having to buy them new because you just can't find them. I mean, everything on these cars have been used body parts. And I have, you know, the rest of the reskin will be used for Fido as well. But had to buy a greenhouse. So got a black greenhouse. Change it up a little bit. Um, like I said, got the rear end that was under Francis underneath it. And got the hubs on the front. Got her on the ground. Uh, we'll have to get it back here where we hung the body on Deuce. And Astro will have to uh, help us get ready to hang the body. So that'll be what's happening here next week. I'll have a video on that. And then, like I said, uh, we actually have some news for Deuce coming out. We've got someone that's going to rent this car at Tri-County. So that's going to be fun. And then with the recent Nelson news, I'm going to most likely be running Gilbert uh, in limited late model at Tri-County on October 28th as well, because originally I was supposed to do uh, an ace speedway race uh, for the Rodney Cook Classic, but that's not going to happen now. Again, thank you guys so much for all the support. It's been a great year. I still have three races left for Nelson, and I think that we can go contend and have a shot at winning all three of those. 
uh, please no hatred towards the team. I know it sucks, but um, it's business. Racing's a business, and, you know, money talks. And, unfortunately, uh, we just didn't have the money to keep us in the ride. But, uh, like I said, it, it was a great learning experience for me, great opportunity for me to showcase what I can do. Hopefully, still have a couple more opportunities here to go out and win races, and then we'll just continue to work on building our program here at Huffman Racing for the future. But thank you guys so much for clicking on this video, tuning in. Um, I have a race day vlog from South Boston coming at you hopefully on like Monday-ish. And, um, you know, we're on the lookout for partners. So if you're interested, make sure you let us know. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next video. I'm out.